Hi, Sonny. Um, one of the very few left from the Champions League finals squad. How determined are you to captain Tottenham to a European trophy? Yeah, it's a, it's a dream. There's no hiding about this. And so I think that's what uh, we work for. Obviously, we're looking for another big uh, competition that everybody wants to win. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Tough competition, a lot of games and a lot of traveling, so which makes it even harder. So we just gotta be ready and take it serious the competition because it's a it's a massive competition. I know you mentioned it in the fans forum, but you talk about it being a competition. It's expanded even more in terms of games. It's a lot of traveling for all of you. You yourself, South Korea and back. Do you worry about not being looked after? And do you think we're in danger of maybe losing the quality in our matches? <coughs> Yeah, I think uh, a lot of players came out uh, and uh, say the right things and I think it was very important to someone actually come up to uh, and say the right things, you know. Sometimes uh, you players are the main guys to have to say something, you know. And yeah, it's definitely a lot of games and uh, as, a, as a football fan or as a who loves football, you want to see quality of the game not many games as possible and you don't want to see people or players are struggling with the injuries and uh, which is uh, nobody wants to see it and yeah I think it's yeah it's definitely a lot of games a lot of traveling which is we have to look after after ourselves and uh, which is uh, sometimes it's also very hard and Sometimes you're mental, men, mentally, physically, you're ne not ready, even not ready, and then you're going to the into the pitch. Obviously, then uh, the risk of uh, injury and is is massive. So yeah, we we are not robots. So I think we just just definitely have to looking after that and yeah, reduce the game definitely, and we can play better quality of game is definitely. I think this is the should be a, should be the aim. If you play too many games, we're all saying you play too many games. First of all, last year. Spurs only played 40 games because they were knocked out early in the League Cup and the FA Cup. But what tournaments do players not want to play in then? Because if I said to you, you want to play in the League Cup, chance to win that, first time in 20 years for Spurs, you'd say, yeah, same with the FA Cup. Obviously, Premier League, Europe, internationals. I mean, you want to play in everything anyway, don't you? Yeah, but don't get me wrong. We love playing football. That's, that's, that's clear because that's why we, we work to be here. But... Uh you know how much we're traveling and how much we're playing games that's that's not only just about the games you know that that preparing the mentally physically i think it's a lot of work and uh i think the the program was the adding even more games and for example like city games they play on sunday and tuesday this was not even flexible so it could move uh, probably for the for the guys play wednesday instead of Tuesday, you know, so but it's not fixable, so we are not flexible. I think this is this is we are talking about, you know, and there's no more that everybody get injury and high risk of the injury. I think it's 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 not fair. I will say, and also I think Rodri would say say the right things. We play maybe 50, 60 games and not 70 more than 70 games. You know, I think this is this is not fair. So if there are more games. And this is a personal question. I, I'll, I'll tell you that it's a personal question. If there are too many games and there are only going to be more added, would you be in favour of going on strike because that's the only way players putting their view forward? No, I mean, you want to go, you want to go to the final and play a lot of games. That's that's different, different scenario. But uh, what I want to say is that the platform, for example, we are talking about the Champions League, is changing the platform to play many, even more games. And I think this is not right to looking after the players, you know, just that's what we are talking about. And uh, and what we can do is that we definitely can change about it and we can ch definitely going in a in a good way that people, they can look after, after the players. Sonny, I know Ange spoke about this topic last night and so did, so did Daniel Levy. So it feels like everyone at the club is on the same page when it comes to too many games. What, what what's the solution if it's not a strike? Wh whose responsibility do you think it is to? It's to not definitely the players. <laughs> it's not the players. Not the players. Players just uh, when the fixtures comes, the player has to play. Players have to be on the pitch, and uh, I mean, 
there's a lot of going on, you know, and I mean, it's, um, UEFA, FA, and uh, also international football, FIFA, and everybody has to taking about about this really seriously. And I think it's not just just not random, just like only few players came out. Yeah, it's it's way too many games. What we want to see, as as I said before, I think what what we want to see is the quality of the game. You want to see high quality of games and uh, top games with top players, you know. So I think this should be the aim. And obviously, injury sometimes it comes also with less games, but with the possibility of a lot of traveling, a lot of games, uh, it will be higher than when you when you play less games. Hi, Sunny. Um, you're a, a legend of this club. You've been here for a long, long time. But we believe that you have, at the moment, your contract is up at the end of the season. We think you've got an option for another year. Can you clarify what the situation is? Have you been signing a new contract or has it been triggered already? Uh, yeah, we haven't talked uh, anything yet. So I think I say in, uh, in fan forum, I, it was very clear for me. It's just like I'm very focused for the, this season. At this uh, at this age, is every second is like a, like a goal, you know. So for especially this season, we are in a in a lot of competition. Feels like I'm taking a even more care about about this. And uh, just as I say, I think I'm just fully focused on this situation. And this year, just want to win something that that everybody in this club and this uh, players and all around uh, that deserves and um, that's what I'm working for and in the end future you you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen but yeah I will make sure that I give everything for this club because it, it's been almost 10 years that I, that I give everything so yeah we'll see what happens so I still have a have a contract with the club which is which is main mainly very important thing and then just want to give everything what we ha what I have until until my contract and just you mentioned 10 years at the club you're now the captain you're one of the older players there's a lot of younger players you know teenagers that have come in now just wondered what's the difference compared to when you were their age with the younger players of today I think uh, when you're when you're a younger player when you are young you don't realize how massively that takes their responsibility but you know when you're like mainly oldest player when you're on the squad and then you see the young lads and you just just want to help them you know that what it what does mean in the in the premier league or in the in the playing in this in these big, big clubs and uh, it change changes so much you know in 10 years time you know so yeah i just just want to be good friends good teammates and uh, just showing that that i'm doing right things on and off the pitch and uh, it takes a lot of responsibility, but it's a, it's a joy, and uh, it has uh, some unbelievable players. But many ten years just gone, just gone way too fast, which is sometimes make me a little bit, little bit sad. But yeah, what can I say? Just do the do the right things to the be a good example, good example that to, towards to every young players to be to be top professional. Hi, Sonny. Um, I was going to ask you about one of those young players, actually, Mikey Moore. Um, the fans are hoping to maybe see a bit of him tomorrow night. I mean, as is, I mean, first off, how good can he be if he keeps working hard? And also, as his captain and a, a fellow winger, do you kind of play a, a little role in kind of mentoring him and things like that? Uh, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic boy. And obviously, when he's coming uh, from academy, you, as a club, you look after him even more you know like everybody's just like so welcoming and looking after him uh, so do i because as a such a lovely kid and uh, working out every single day coming with the first team with uh, with that age is not not easy you know like sometimes you're very shy but he's showing in the good personality and working out which is very important to me and uh, when you see the young young players are working hard on a on a first in a in a first team and you just wanna, you just help. You just wanna help him. You know, that's as was I was when I was young, and now who's, who's coaching in Manchester United? Rufa Nisero he was helping me a lot in a in a Hamburg time. So, and uh, now I wanna be that guy as well. You know, just 
having around me and just talking about because we are playing almost similar position that I, if I can help him a little bit of the of uh, advice and uh, I'm always open to it and Mike is also coming to me most of times and asking asking questions which is which is very fun and joy to talk to him and uh, yeah he's a he's a fantastic boy and then I'm definitely sure that he can be he can be a fantastic player there is there's no no doubt because he has such an amazing quality but as uh, as we always say as young players let's don't get him too much pressure on his shoulder just just let's enjoy that how how he develop uh, improvement every single day every single season and as a fan as a as a as a supporter so we should just enjoy watching watching him and he will be i think one of the top player I spoke to Deki Kulusevski a couple of months back. He said he's had to really uh, adapt his game as a winger. Obviously, he's now playing more in the midfield. But as a winger, he had to adapt to play the Ange Postacoglu system. Have you found that? Because it's a very kind of high and wide winger he likes. But obviously, you like Deki, like to cut inside as much as you can as well. No, I think uh, it's all about the, the manager system. And then you just also had to adapt, which is very, very important. But... It doesn't mean that I have to stay all the time in the wide area. That uh, some last game I was cutting inside, make these inside runs, and when um, Dom comes uh, in a deep position, when he tracks the centre backs out of the position, then I'll make these space runs. And I think it's all about depending on on the situation. But Deki is the kind of guy that who wants it be in the more middle. That he, he can handle with the ball really well with the back back of the opponent, and I think he that's 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 his game, and he's he's just joy now. He's at the moment he's having a great season. Good work, that that everybody not talking about that is that deck his work rate is unbelievable. That he's everywhere on the pitch, you know. So, but I think people never seen that, you know. But deck he works really hard that. I think so hard that I, when I see the older data and sometimes I'm, I get shocked, you know, so it feels like he never stops running. So I, I think players are all appreciate about what he does and with the, with the ball, with the, with the quality what he has, there is no doubt that every position is, he can he can do. And I think as a manager, I think he can put he can put him anywhere that he's to he's do the, the right thing for what, what he asks for. So, yeah. There is no doubt what he does, and he's doing amazing at the moment. We'll just have one question from Jay, and then one. Thank you. Um, hi, Son. Um, just wanted to ask you about your relationship with Rodrigo Bentancur after what happened in the summer, and just for your reaction on now that he's been charged by the FA, if that's okay. Uh, yeah. To be fair, this uh, at the moment uh, from FA, the, the process. Uh, that's why I can't say much about it. But I love Rodrigo a bit. Uh, of, a bit. I, I love him. I, I love him. We had a. A lot of good uh, memories. We started play together when uh, when he joined, and you know, uh, he knew he he apologized straight afterwards. You know, when we had a holiday, I was in uh, I was at home, and I didn't even realize that was what's what's going on. And he just sent me a long long text that you could feel that he's it was coming from his heart. You know, and uh, afterwards, then when we come to when he came back to the training ground for the preseason, and he just like felt really sorry, and he almost like cried when he when he said apologized in a in a public, also personal uh, personal as well. So, uh, but he felt like he was feel really sorry. We all human makes a mistake, which is we learn from it. But I love Rodrigo a bit, and I love him. I love him, and he know he he made a mistake, but I have no problem at all at all. So. Which is, we move on as a teammate, as a friend, and as a as a as a brother. We move on as a together, and uh, yeah, I hope. Uh, yeah, just have to wait what uh, what I face as uh, a process, but I can't say much. That uh, what I can say one thing is that I love Rodrigo. So there's there's no nothing nothing more to say. Thank you very much. Well done. Good luck. Thank you, thank, thank you. you.